Like, it's stunning. Like, look at the difference. One coat on my legs. It's into all those chin pores. And this one is getting gay kept by the girls. I've been trying all of the viral TikTok makeup, so I'm gonna tell you what's worth it and what's not. First up, Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. I do like these because it's not self-tanner, so it's not permanent. It washes off, but I just don't think it blends that well. You see? But I've yet to see any other products similar to it, so there's nothing to really compare it to. I do like it, but like, hello. <laughs> Next up is Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, and this worth every penny, worth all the hype. Ready? Look at the difference. Like, look at the way my face is glowing. Just got into using cream contour and I used the Fenty Beauty one in Mocha, but then I tried Rare Beauty and this one melts into your skin. Okay, ready? Watch how beautifully it blends. Like, it's stunning. Next up is the Kosas Concealer. I do like this one, but you literally have to set it right after you blend it because it really settles into lines. But it does look super pretty and it's very hydrating. Accidentally did it out of order, so we're not gonna set it just yet because we're gonna use the Rare Beauty Blush. This is in the shade Joy and I genuinely was like, okay, I don't think I'm gonna love it, but I love it. Worth all the hype. A product that I think should be viral that isn't is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Island Ting. It's the best. I use this for bronzing contour, use it for my nose contour. It just snatches your entire face. Another product I think should be viral that isn't is the Buxom Primer Infused Blush in the shade Mykonos. It's just the best. Next up is the Anastasia Brow Freeze, and I got it because Jordan Sloan said she can't live without it, so I was like, I can't live without it. And she was right, it gives your brows the most stunning laminated look. Like what? Another product that should be viral that isn't is the Blink Amplified Tubing Mascara. If you don't know what tubing mascara is, basically it just tubes around your lashes, and then when you wash your face and wet it, it comes off like that. It's amazing, it's a lot less damaging for your lashes, and it just doesn't leave any residue around your eye. And it looks so good on. And last but not least, a product that is deserving of all the hype and more is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. It's actually perfect. And that's the final look, bye. I know I'm not the only one that just instantly, it's like the craziest mood boost from tanning. And I literally have to stock up whenever this Peta Jane dark tanning mousse isn't sold out because I use one coat and I'm like, good to go. It doesn't have any of those like orange or green undertones. So it comes out just brown. Okay, like wait, like look at the difference. One coat on my legs. It doesn't have that stinky spray tan smell. It's one of those products that Got hype on TikTok and it deserves it. So if you never tried Korean beauty before, you want a really simple routine, this is how you start. K-Beauty is iconic for the double cleanse. Number one cleansing oil in K-Beauty is the Anua cleansing oil. This is the cleansing oil that draws all the sebum out. White dot is a sebaceous filament. It draws it all out, keeping your nose really clean. After doing it for about 60 seconds, you have to emulsify it with water, wash it off completely, and go in with a water-based cleanser. This is the best one for pores. or pore deep cleansing foam. Gets into all those chin pores your pores from inside out. It uses heart leaf powder, creates really dense bubbles like the ones you see on my face right now. Dense bubbles are able to foam into your pores. It helps to gently clear all the impurities from your pores. This is the cleanser that always makes my skin feel really clean. You have to wash it away with water again and then completely dry your skin. The cleanser is perfect for those with sensitive skin. The main ingredient is heart leaf. It leaves your skin feeling really clean but not tight. Korean Beauty, my favorite way to exfoliate is using toner pads. Cellimax BHA toner pads. One of the most popular toner pads in Korea. Two sides, it has a gauze side and a smooth side. Skin, you should always use the smooth side because you don't want to damage your barrier. This side might be too harsh for some skin types. This is the perfect exfoliation if you have textured skin. How I use the gauze side. So I use the gauze side behind my ears because behind the ears is the sebum zone. I use it to purify the back of my ears. Sometimes the gauze pad turns yellow. That's all sebum. Then I go in with a bean essence, vegan version of snail mucin. Same texture, same benefits. So textured skin, hydration, and helps you heal a damaged barrier. Essence really transformed my skin because it helped with my skin's overall radiance and texture. Skin gets really clogged usually, but bean essence really helps that because it contains fermented pomegranate that's a natural AHA. And I use fermented Centella Asiatica. 
Fermented Centella Asiatica helps control blemishes in your skin. If you have any redness, it's gonna calm it down. It also helps control the sebum production. It also helps dark spots and any hyperpigmentation. Use your skin with a glossy glass skin finish. That's why I love using Fermented Centella Asiatica. To lock in all of that with a cream. My favorite is this Mixoon Bean Cream. I found that this cream leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and it leaves my skin really glassy, but it doesn't have that sticky finish. The creams I use have that really sticky finish. It leaves your skin feeling really sticky all day. Just getting into K-Beauty and you just want a really simple routine is exactly what I would use. Welcome back to Things That I Think Should Be Viral, where the only two criteria are things I like that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. And this one is getting gay kept by the girls. I know this because I posted a teaser of this episode on my Instagram story, and people DM'd me begging me not to post it. Sorry about it. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Vinifera Replenishing Oil. This is my empty, and this is my restock. I cannot go without this oil. It's literally like my equivalent of Windex in that Big Fat Greek Wedding movie series, how they would put Windex on everything. I put this on everything. You can use this as a makeup primer. It's obviously skincare too. I'll seal in all of my nighttime skincare with this at the very end. I use it in the morning. It's not even like too oily for daytime. It smells really good. It has like a natural smell, like more like a central oily smell. I was really hoping this would be included in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but it wasn't. It is kind of expensive, but once you try it, like you will be obsessed and it will be worth every penny. Juice Beauty is sold at Ulta, so you can get it there. I think this one has like 4.7 stars, so I'm not alone in this. Just no one is talking about it. If you've tried this, let me know what you think. And if you go out and get it, then you have to report back because I'm shocked this isn't like a more well-known oil. 